Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is Easy Tutorials, and for those of you who are the first time in this channel, please consider subscribing. Today we'll be creating this. Before we start, I'd like to invite you to support me on Patreon. You can also get access to all my premium content. In this tutorial we'll be using the Easy Tools script, which is free to download. You can also download the template with 8 different lines transitions exactly as you have just seen in the example. You can find both links in the description. So let's start. Create a new composition and name it, Lines Transition. I'm using a full HD 1080 pixels preset, with 30 frames per second, and 2 seconds long. Select the Rectangle tool. Change the fill to Solid Color. The Stroke to None. And draw a simple shape like this. Rename this shape layer. Line 1 Click on Rectangle 1, Rectangle Path 1, unlink the size values, and change them to 1920 and 120. You can use any height value you want, but on this value will depend the total number of lines you create, and their position in the composition, so keep this in mind. Move the Line 1 layer anchor point in its center and align the layer like this. This will be the final position of the shape, so, open the position options, move to 1 second and 5 frames, and create a keyframe. Move to the first frame, and change the X position value to minus 960. This will make the transition start from the left side. If you want to make it start from the right, change the X value to 2880. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. Then open the graph editor, and change the curve like this. As I have told you, depending on the height of your shape layer, you have to create a certain number of lines and animate their position. In this case, we will need 9 lines and we'll use expressions to make their creation easier. So, I'll click the position stopwatch, and start writing this expression. X equals Grab this pick whip, and parent it to the X position value. This will tell the program, that at any moment, it has to use the X value which is already animated with keyframes. Add semicolon, and jump to a new line y equals open bracket index the index represents the individual order number of each layer that you can see here multiplied by 120 this number represents the height of your shape layer so if you use a different height put that number instead close bracket minus 60 this number represents half of the height value, so again, if you use a different height, divide it by 2, and place that number instead. Add semicolon, and jump to a new line. Open square bracket. X comma Y. Close square bracket. This will tell After Effects, which variables to use as horizontal and vertical position values. Click away to save the expression. Let's animate the scale too, so, open it. Create a keyframe, unlink the values, and change the Y value to 90%. Move to 1 second and 5 frames, and change the value to 101%. Why 101? To avoid the gap which sometimes can be seen between the shapes if you use 100%. Now, select your layer, and duplicate it. As you can see, 
The index number increases together with the number of layers you have, and this will give the right position of each layer. Create a total of 9 line layers. The transition already works. But to make it more interesting, let's offset randomly the start time of each layer, like this. Now it looks great. Create a new composition and name it, Slideshow. For this tutorial, I will make it 4 seconds long, but you can make it as long as you need for your projects. Bring the footage into it. Also, bring the lines transition comp, which we've created, and place it on top of the image or video that you want to be affected. Select your footage and the transition layers, move to the point where the transition should begin, in this case to 1 second, and change their start time. At this moment your transition looks like this. But if you change the track mat of your footage layer to alpha mat, the magic will happen. To make it even more interesting, duplicate these two layers. And offset them 10 frames. Select the bottom footage copy. Search for brightness and contrast, and apply it to it. Change the brightness value to around 60. And check the result. It looks great, but as you can see, at this point the image does not show anymore. So, find a point where the image is fully visible. Bring a new copy of it and place it on top. And change its start point here. Let's check the final result. As you have seen in the initial example you can make this transition to start from any side you want, so do the same actions, but change the position animation of the first line layer to create different transitions, or simply download my template. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial on how to create lines transitions in After Effects. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and comment. It would be great to know your opinions on my tutorials. Also, you can make requests for new tutorials, on interesting effects or animations that you would like to learn. See you soon.